Tennis is organised crime's sport of choice. Over the course of 11 raids, 83 suspects were arrested, 28 of them professional tennis players. Officers also recovered tens of thousands in cash, luxury cars and a shotgun in the operation. The sport is vulnerable because of the number of games available to bet on. One major UK bookmaker alone takes in excess of 30,000 tennis bets every year. The most recent figures from betting integrity group ESSA show tennis attracts the vast majority of suspicious bets, more than three times the next sport, football. And one area stands out. Of the 264 alerts last year, 163 of them, that's 62%, come from the men's futures tournaments, the lowest tier in professional tennis. That's mainly because any prize money is negligible, so players, especially from poorer countries, are perceived to be more susceptible to taking bribes just to keep funding their life on the circuit. The only player suspended so far is the Spaniard Mark Fornell Mestre, here in the blue. But more names will emerge soon, reminding tennis that while its prestigious tournaments are largely immune from corruption, the rest of the professional game is not. Steve Scott, ITV News.